this is my four months old kitten named Kiki and um, she's absolutely adorable yeah yeah you are welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to be diving into adobe lightroom classic where i will be showing you how i edit a picture and what my thought process is so let's dive right into it this picture is taken in low footing uh, this january since this picture is taken during winter i want to make the picture feel a bit cool but at the same time a little bit warm so what i'll do is i'll warm up this area but i'll make the rest of the picture cold because i want to make the, the houses feel like warmth and cozy whereas the nature will be cool to reflect the cold temperatures of winter so what i'll do first is i'll uh, dive into the basic i'll up the exposure a little bit i'll pull down the highlights to recover the uh, details in the clouds and the sky i'll pull up the shadows a tiny bit and the same with the whites to make the white pop a little bit more and then we'll slide the texture up just to make the picture a little bit sharper and then we'll slide up the vibrance to make the color pop a little bit more than it did so already you can see a change into the picture but right now we don't have the final result as we wanted. So we'll pull down the white balance towards the cooler and then we'll go to color mixer. In here you can change the color, you can change the saturation and you can change the brightness of the color. So we'll start with hue which is where you can change the color. As you can see in the houses you have some yellow and you have some orange. So I'll pull up pull the yellow slider towards orange a little bit and then the orange slider a bit towards the red. So get the houses a little bit warmer. And in the ocean, we have some turquoise color that it goes under aqua. So I want the color of the ocean to be a bit more blue. So we'll pull this slider towards the blue and then we slide the blue towards turquoise a little bit because that goes for the overall picture. As I know, because there is a lot of blue in the whole picture basically. Now we're gonna go over to saturation. In saturation, we're gonna go down to orange and yellow. We're gonna slide these up like that to make these building pop even more. We're gonna go down to aqua. We're gonna slide that up as well, but we're gonna desaturate blues a little bit so it doesn't get too blue. Then we're gonna go over to luminance. In luminance, we're gonna go down to orange. We're gonna pull up orange. As you can see, you can brighten the color of orange. And then we're gonna go to yellow and brighten yellow a little bit as well. Now I also want to brighten these this area, so we're gonna go down to aqua and brighten that color because there's still turquoise in this area. Right, so already we have it a bit more the winter feel, but there's a warmth with the houses as I wanted it to be. But I think this area is too bright. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to mask, we're gonna go down to linear gradients which has then created a new mask. And now we're gonna pull down this linear gradient from the top. And we're gonna pull down the exposure just to get the details in the clouds and the sky a bit back. We're gonna make a second linear gradient and we're gonna pull it up here because I want to darken the water a little bit more. Not much, just a tiny bit, like that. That way we can make this area stand out a little bit more. And then we're gonna go and add a radial gradient which basically is a circle. And then we're gonna invert this because the red area is what's being affected. So if we invert it, then the outside of the circle is what it's being affected. So I'm adding this radiance or vignette, you can say, to pull in the focus a bit more towards here. But we are pretty much there, but we're gonna go down to tone curve. What tone curve does is basically control shadows, the midtones, and the highlights as well. So what we'll do is we'll go down to shadow part and darken the shadows a little bit. And then we're gonna pull this up a little bit so it recovers the brightness. And then I'm gonna pull it a little bit down on the highlights to make the highlights a little bit less harsh. I think that is a pretty good result. You have the blue feeling of winter, the cold feeling, and then you have the warmth of the, um, the houses, which stands out from the blue. There you have it. Really, it's just a lot of playing around in editing, but when I take a picture, I have a clear idea of how 
I want the final result to be. And here I thought the winterish feeling was nice and complemented nicely with the warmth of the color of the houses. So look for complementary colors like contrasts like red and blue is, um, and it makes really nice feeling to the picture and makes subjects pop out a little bit more. And then in editing program, you can enhance that a little bit further. All right, take care everyone. I'll see you in the next video.